Hello and welcome back dudes and dudettes. This is your guy Lightliger here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the ENS, Ethereum name service and how to create your own Ethereum domain. And this service is somewhat similar to what I have covered in the past on the channel called Unstoppable Domains. We're going to be making some comparisons later on this video between these two services. Obviously, both of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. So you might want to look into that video as well to kind of give you the idea which one you should basically go for. And basically, this service allows you to create a one name for all of your cryptocurrencies. So when people use a wallet that supports the ENS, I can receive payments under my domain, which would be in this case, for example, lightliger.eth. And that is one of the big strengths about uh, creating an ENS domain. Uh, there's already been 194,000 names um, you know, in the blockchain, 161 integrations and 53,000 owners already. And there are, you know, domains like Vitalik.eth. And there's obviously a big market on domain flipping, which can be profitable in the future as Ethereum becomes more and more powerful around the world, more known, more people are inclined to buy the Ethereum domains, especially if they are providing some types of services which are inherently um, integrated into the Ethereum ecosystem. And all of these are ERC721 compliant NFTs, meaning that they can be traded on places like OpenSea. But, uh, and here are some of the ENS ecosystem wallets, which you can be using, such as Coinbase wallet, Argent, Trust wallet, MyCrypto, Huobi. I mean, the list is very big of different wallets that are supported that use this name service and apps that which also support it. I mean, it's a pretty big list. So this is a very established service. This does not just something that came around last day. And here you can even see Unstoppable Browser. But let's jump into the actual application. So you obviously need a MetaMask and it will be asking you to connect here, first of all. And we're going to be clicking next, view addresses, blah, 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 connect. And now we are connected in to the actual um, wallet. So the first thing you're obviously probably looking for is Domains, there are a lot of things that are probably already taken. Let's see, for example, alice.eth. And I think the, um, and this is important to go through multiple things. This has been already bought um, and the expiration date is 2021. And compared to unstoppable domains is that the Ethereum name service is something that is renewable akin to the classic domain system. However, in unstable domains, you're just paying one time. And the, the domain that I own, lightliger.zil, for example, I own that for life. I'm going to own that for life, okay? So I don't have to pay uh, yearly payments. And I like that system. But if you have no problem with paying the main costs, Ethereum name service is great. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be buying the lightliger.eth. And we're going to be now registering that and there's going to be a price uh, and this will be marked based on, you know, how many years you're going to be choosing. Uh, for the sake of the uh, usability, I don't know how I'm going to be actually using it or utilizing it, but I want to own it in case somebody tries to impersonate me or something between those lines. So I'm going to be now uh, registering this and this will be done through... Um, MetaMask. So now we're going to be paying the actual transaction cost, which is 25 cents in this case. And then we're going to be waiting until the, the other person, another person hasn't registered the same name. And after the actual transaction has gone through on the Ethereum, we have to wait for a one minute in case there's another person who has been trying to basically buy the domain. So we're going to be waiting till the green bar goes into the end and then we can actually register the actual domain. Obviously what we just bought or paid was the just the gas fee to approve the transaction, so to speak. So we're going to be should be able to do this just in a second, basically to move on to see what's going to be happening on, on the transaction. And now we're going to be clicking register. 
and this is where the actual cost is going to be and right now it's going to be seven dollars and there's a gas fee of 1.79 probably ends up being a lot lower than that and we're going to be hitting confirm and now we're going to be just waiting until that actual um, transaction is going to be taking place on the ethereum network should be two to nine minutes based on the gas fees that we basically just set out and now the actual transaction went through on the Ethereum network and we can see it here on Etherscan, the contract itself, the ENS resolver and the registered lightliger.eth and the price of the gas and the valuation of the transaction, the value of the transaction itself. And now we can uh, actually click manage and here we can do, well, different types of stuff where for example, if we want to transfer it into another wallet, like a new one, so I can transfer that ownership into that wallet, or I can set a different controller for the actual domain or something. And you can also add your addresses here right now. So in case we already have Ethereum, so now when people send me a tip, they can just use lightliger.eth and it automatically goes into my address and they don't have to remember this uh, string of name, they just enter lightliger.eth and I will get my transactions there. And here I can also add uh, different things here uh, in case I want to. So um, let's say I would want to add Ethereum. We could add like this one for instance here um, and then click save. And then there would be a confirmation, but apparently I have to pay gas uh, in, in order to do that. But I already have everything on my Zill address, so I don't really need to do this. And uh, that's how easy it's basically to set everything up. It can be very convenient for businesses and things like that. We can also sell it on OpenSea to my understanding. So if you go into your actual, uh, you know, collection, you can find that there is an actual ENS domain. And then you can just set it on the actual, you know, marketplace and we can now ask a price for it. And that is really, really cool. So I can sell it afterwards when I don't use it. It's not like this somebody is going to be buying, buying it for uh, something, I guess, maybe the collector or something. But I doubt it is going to be actually uh, going to be sold on the website. And there's a lot of other uh, ENS domains here on actually on sale. Ether Dice, that's a good one. A lot of gambling related things, drugs online, daddy, and uh, some of these are going to be going for good prices and some of them are not. And there's 6 million trades apparently being done uh, already. Or is this 6,000 trades that have been done already? And there's 19,000 owners here on the market. That thousand, uh, 106,000 uh, domains up for sale. So you can buy one from here, obviously. And you don't have to go through all of those hoops. But obviously, you're going to be paying a lot more in price. And some of these are quite hefty prices, I'm not going to lie. But that's pretty much my video. I'm going to link also the Unstoppable Domains one in case you're interested in that as well. If you don't want to be bothered with um, renewal fees and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.